Um, how would you define, what, what, just give us the lay person's uh, definition. What is uh, possession of drug offense? What is possession with the intent to distribute? Mm -hmm. Well, possession of drugs uh, includes your obvious, you know, your marijuana, heroin, cocaine, those things. But drug offenses also include prescription painkillers that people uh, that are possessing without a valid prescription. If you've taken pills or from a friend, or um, and and the law with drug crimes today also includes any. Uh, prescribed medication. If you're in possession of it and you don't have a valid prescription, you can be arrested and it's a felony offense. So if you have medicine prescribed to your mom or to your brother and they share it with you, you're in violation of the same drug laws. That's right. And people generally do easily associate that with your narcotics, you know, your, your pain medication. But it also applies to anything that's prescribed. If your mother has a prescription for poison ivy for an ointment, uh, and if you have that and you are not in, a, you don't have a valid prescription for it, that's a felony offense. It's called a violation. It's a legend drug, is what it's called, and that's against the law. It's also against the law for your mother to give it to you, but. I don't think you want to turn your mother in if you got caught. <laughs> well, and I think it's important for you to define that word distribute because people may hear that and think, well, she didn't sell it to me. I didn't buy it from her. What does it mean when you say there's the intent or there is distribution? Right. That, that is a common uh, mis misconception with distribution. People think if you didn't sell it, then, it th then you haven't committed the crime of distribution. But distribution is just a transfer mm -hmm. from one person to another. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's as simple as... Uh, you know, technically two people sitting in a car smoking marijuana, each time one passes it from one to the other and has a transfer, you've commi he's committed the crime of distribution. Right. And when it's transferred back, that's another distribution. So just giving it to somebody, just transfer handing it over. Transfer from one transfer to another. From that's one all to a distribution another. is. Possession with intent to distribute means that they, that you have an amount uh, that they de determine is not intended for personal use. Or, and there's different factors that are gonna go into that. Um, you, you're talking about um, when, they, when they charge you with possession with intent to distribute, the factors that they're gonna look at is the amount uh, packaging, whether it's packaged for sale, whether you have numerous small bags, whether there's scales involved in the arrest, uh, large sums of cash, small denominations, multiple cell phones, guns. It's, it's, on a, it's always on a case-by-case -case basis for possession with intent to distribute. Um, but the, the gist of it is, is that it's an amount or uh, that's not consistent with personal use. And so